So guys, I've done a lot of videos like taking expats, trying local style Western food. It's just got this weird taste. There's an egg on my pasta. <laughs> but this is the first episode where I'm actually being toured around by the French in Hong Kong. Get the expat to take me around my own city. <laughs> All right, guys. Today I have Marcelia on my left. Marcelia is all the way from Lyon, and we have Jeremy from Alsace, Strasbourg. <laughs> exactly. So they are my friends from France. We're gonna eat until we explode. Yeah, a lot. French population. I think it is the biggest expat in Hong Kong. It is. I'm sure there are lots of things in Hong Kong that cater you guys that us local wouldn't know. know. Ham and cheese croissant. Why would you put anything in the croissant that's savory? Honestly? Abomination. They have like a menu that's adapted to the crowd, right? Alright guys, so if Just you want to be place. a real French, do not order ham and cheese croissant. Speak in French or in yes, English? Yes, we, 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 we. Oh, oh, du okay. Oh, okay. It's genial. Est-ce que tu peux avoir le char sur bas aussi? Bonjour. Bonjour. On aimerait commencer par le petit déjeuner. Nomelette non spicy. Squid uh, in question, spicy omelette, c'est français? Oui, non? Well, well, yeah, not for can I just quickly ask the French in France, do you serve your coffee in a soy sauce <laughs> bowl? Not at all, never. No, I do drink coffee in bowls at home. I like how the French took me here and then they serve coffee in a Chinese bowl. <laughs> can you make sure and try an actual coffee, not Yase made? <laughs> Experiencing a typical French breakfast. Look how juicy it is. Cheese in there? Yeah. Yes. Oh my yeah. god. I think it's very tasty. Oh, 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 oh. How do you say very yummy in French? It's delicious. delicious. You take your croissant, you take a little piece, you go dip, dip. <gasps> wait, wait, dip espresso, can you dip? You can, that's you can. why they serve it in a bowl, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I have something I need to tell you. What? Croissant is actually not French. So in France, all the kind of pastries, like croissant, pain au chocolat, everything, we call them viennoiserie. And actually it comes from the fact that they come from Vienna and not France. They were invented in Vienna and they were like brought to France. Does Jeremy agree? Agree 100 percent yeah. We don't want people to know. Yeah. You guys just <laughs> stole it? No, someone brought it to us. Yeah. Cultural exchange <laughs> to eat. I've never tried it. I think it'll be good. The Paris n'importe quoi. This brand is French? Yes. It is. Agnès B. How do you call it? Agnès B. Agnès B. I don't know where we go. Oh, it's here! I never know this restaurant exists. So you see, it's Han Tang. But that's a French restaurant. No, but like Switzerland and France, they're quite close to each oh, other. De Paris n'importe où. Marcelia, look at you and your Le Marion. <laughs> Just an advice though, when you eat raclette au fondue, I know it's salty and you're thirsty, but don't drink water. It makes the whole cheese like turn into a block in my stomach. Oh, it's true. really heavy. So we drink wine. <laughs> Let's do that. It's a French party at one o'clock <laughs> in Tim Sa Choi. Guys, they're adapting as well. This Swiss restaurant, so you get like Gruyere and all these French, 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 French. They come here. On gassy ngau yok fo wo pui tong kap fan si. And you have a fondue chinoise. I go white. White. Yeah. White? Yeah, 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 with cheese. What? White. Yeah, cheese. Isn't cheese with red? Because the inside is white wine. Yeah. And then you have the cure royale, which is the, basically this liquor mixed with champagne. So, in a French restaurant, how do you get someone's attention? You would raise your hand, wave it. Like, yo. Oh, no. this is very rude. So, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. I love Kimboya. In a French dinner, I think on average you have like nine glasses. <laughs> <laughs> wow. mm. It's not so oily, but it's so crunchy. Mixed so well with cheese. So you dip your bread in there. Yeah. So you not you don't drink this. Alright guys, this is the French hot pot and then of course in the French hot pot you have bread. We ordered the moitié-moitié which is half-half. And it's 318 per person. Actually you can just order two persons. Exactly, it's just the amount of cheese they would put on the pot.
This is a crazy cultural shock because for Chinese people when we go eat hot pot, we want like a whole table oh, yeah. of like beef, mm. vegetables. Chinese hot pot. The main thing is the thing that you did in here. The main thing is this. the cheese. The French hot pot. <laughs> Delicious. It's delicious. Mm, it's really good. Oh my god, look. They speak very highly of it. So I'm a proud Chinese hot pot advocate, or the French would call it avocat. Avocat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my first ever cheese hot pot. Wow. It's time to say bye bye to Wagyu beef and say hello to baguette. <laughs> what is this? The kiss. So it's liquor. Liquor. How strong? Very strong. 60 degrees. <laughs> I, I, okay, I taste that. He said that he put less actually. Oh, yeah. For us. So if you want more, he can add it. Oh, yeah, okay. You, you dip it there? <laughs> the bottle. Uh, you, you try the taste different. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hot? Oh, it tastes really good. Thank you very much. That was just like in Chinese hot pot when we run out of soup, we add more soup. <laughs> Am I red? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. We guys, the French people in Hong Kong, they're generally very friendly. At the time, we have bad stereotypes about French people, like they're quite cold, especially in Paris. Paris yeah. We need a warm up time, I think. After this warm up, if we can get along with these people, we yeah. are very obviously friendly yeah. and nice. And So if you see some French people in Hong Kong and you feel like you want to practice your French, walk up to them and how do you think French people in Hong Kong will react? Digash! <laughs> <laughs> We're also, nice, just come to us if you see us in the street. Yeah. Good news, Lingolda's hashtag language sprint is back! Thanks all I chung tong, but you don't tong. Maintenant, tu peux faire trois mois intensif d'apprentissage avec Lingolda. Uh, en plus, il n'y a rien de compliqué. Three months is very, very possible to learn a language. When I was in Paris, I was learning French every day and it took me maybe two to three months to understand 80% of the daily French conversation. Same for me trying to learn piano right now. You need to be consistent, consistent and intensive. The language sprint offers these languages so you can uh, choose your own level. To get all your cash back, attend 30 classes a month for 3 months and you will get everything back. Refund you just like they have refunded all my other viewers. So she is really really rich right now. What are you gonna do with the money? Use for traveling. You can also choose to attend 15 classes per month for 3 months and you will get 50% of your tuition fee back. I've been speaking to a lot of my viewers Viewers, and here are some winning tips so you can use to hack the system. Number one, make sure you set an alarm to remind yourself it's time to go to class every day so you won't miss a class. Number two, speak more in your class. If you need to do it for three months, you might as well make it a fun experience. The native teachers on Lingoda, they're very good at making sure that you have a great learning experience. Speak more in the class and make some friends with your classmates. Number three, Good internet connection. Number four, read the rules. They are in English and Chinese. Places are very limited for this sprint, so be sure to pay a deposit to secure your spot and use my promo code here to get 10 euro off your deposit. Now, Messalier and Jeremy want to take me to the most French place in Hong Kong. Where are we going? We're going to Pastis. What is so French about this place? <laughs> the name first. Pastis is a drink, like a typical French drink from the south of France. It's French people's favorite spot to go out drink. Oh my god, this is Wyndham Street. It's where all the expats come here on the weekend and drink. It's like Asian people like to drink in a bar, but expats like to drink in the street. Yes. Is it this one? Yes. Le pastis, c'est comme l'essence. Un c'est passé et trois c'est trop. What does that mean? It means pastis is like. One is not enough, and three is too much. <laughs> <laughs> so how is it like being an Asian girl in, in France? It's really hard because we, we're not being raised the same way. It's like my parents are really strict, and in France they're really like... Chill? You know, yeah, you want to give your children freedom and everything. Yeah. Like, you know, do whatever you want to do. But you know Asian parents are like, do this, do that, do that. Don't go out. A bit of French in Hong Kong. Well, it like medicine. Oh, guys, this is the magical French drink. Looks like whiskey, 
Yeah, this beautiful honey color. Oh! Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a bit like sesame oil. Oh. Up, to, up to you guys. And then some water, but not too much. That's the secret. Oh. Yeah. The color changes so yeah. different. Okay, besties. Besties. Ooh. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like Mao Thai, Mao Thai sweet Chinese white wine. It's really funny because people usually don't like it, but the more you drink it, the more you love it. Actually, you're right. Now I have my second sip, it gets better. Yeah, the see, first sip is like... It gets really gross. What is this? It smells. It smells so good. Though. Actually, French food is not the healthiest food. <laughs> Like start with the breakfast, it's yeah. chocolate. <laughs> yeah. A lot of butter. So we just ate the escargot and then we were just given this drink. Like what is it? Uh, Why do you guys have so many drinks in France? We <laughs> have a lot of liquor. So this one is a liquor called La Chartreuse, made by monks. Yeah. Yeah, in the 18th century. And it's made with 130 herbs and plants and flowers. It's a digestive, so it just like helps. Please help me digest. <laughs> <laughs> Life is too short to be French. <laughs> <laughs> no, life is too short not to be French. See you next time. See you. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao.